my name is Danielle and if this is your first video at my channel hello how'd you find this one and if it's not welcome back hi so good to see you so um today I wanted to talk about um my body um I'm sure you're like whoa what the heck are going on here sorry first of all let me let me back trick what's today's video about so I have been waiting to film this video because I was like, you know what? I want to film this video when I'm put together. I'm going to put makeup on. I'm going to feel really good about myself to talk about such a sensitive topic. Um, but that day never came. So I'm coming to you live with no makeup on and my hair in a bun so that we can talk about this. Because if I don't, I'll never make this video and baby girl will be here already. And I really wanted to get this video out so that later on I can look back on it and kind of like talk about it after the fact too. So basically today's video is all about um, how I feel about my pregnancy body. So like how my body has changed in pregnancy. But even if you go back on my old YouTube videos, you can see how tiny I was before I got pregnant. And so one of the first things that changed immensely whenever I got pregnant was my boobs. And so like my breasts are like humongous now. That was one of the first things I don't currently have on a nursing bra, but like I've basically had to live in nursing bras my entire pregnancy because it was just like boom overnight. They were like just engorged feeling and like huge. And like, um, I never was small chested, but like it just went from zero to 100 or like, let's say from 50 to 100 <laughs> really quick. The thing that changed the most, I feel like is just my chest um like in the first trimester and obviously I'm not going to show you I'm not going to like whip everything off but like the main thing I feel like one they got bigger and then two like your like nipple and your areola all that stuff changes I did not anticipate that I thought that like I knew that your chest changed like when you got pregnant and like after your baby came but I didn't know that it happened or could happen in pregnancy so the whole reason I'm in a sports bra is because I wanted to show you my belly oh first I would like to say that I am nine months pregnant I am currently 37 weeks and two days I believe maybe three so it is towards the end of my pregnancy which is where you know you get the most bumping <laughs> so let's look at my belly so this is what we're looking at. She's nice and moisturized, but you see these like tiny little stretch marks that are starting to come through. You can really see them in the light. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the things. First, your belly button like freaking pops out, but then and you get this line, but these stretch marks have started to come. And that's what I want to talk about. Now, obviously growing a human and doing all that stuff is just an amazing thing you are so blessed and you're just so excited you have like a baby that's coming and you're just happy but it is so incredibly like just it is so overwhelming how much your body changes and what feels like such a short amount of time so i'm somebody that's always been a tinier human like i've just always been itty bitty um, and so whenever I got pregnant, um, I was pretty tiny. Um, and so my bump showed pretty quickly because I mean, it was just like tiny human and then like, whoop, like a little bump. Um, and so I don't think that I was mentally prepared for what it would do to see myself change like this. And, um, I wanted to talk about it cause I feel like I haven't heard it talked about enough in pregnancy. I know that we talk about it. Um, I've seen videos about people talking about it after pregnancy, you know, once everything settles back down, but I wanna talk about it during pregnancy when you're in the thick of it, because it is rough <laughs> to say the least. I mean, I have just truly um, had a hard time coping. There have been so many times where I will literally just like, look in the mirror and start crying because I'm like who is this 
who is this body? Like, this is not my body. And I think that that comes with an array of things. Um, if you've seen my testimony video or just different things, um, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I've talked about trauma and that kind of deal. And um, I have an array of trauma. I've got a whole suitcase of trauma. But specifically, um, like when you have sexual trauma, um, it's one thing because sexual trauma is something that's happening against your body and you know so that's like already messes with your head because you have to keep your body with you it's not like somebody steals your car or breaks into your home they break into your physical home and so um that is your body that you keep forever and so you constantly have to work on um you know that type of trauma and so pregnancy almost triggers that trauma because so many things are happening to your body that you have zero control over. I moisturize this belly every day and there are now lines on it that will stay there, you know, presumably forever. Um, you know, my chest growing enormously um, and now it's like producing colostrum, which is an amazing, beautiful thing. But it's something that happened that I had no control over. You know, I'm laying in bed one day, I'm on my phone and now my chest is leaking. Like it's just so many different things happening that you have zero control over. And I think that the reason it's been so heavy on my heart and something that I really want to talk about is because I know that there are people out there like me. I know um, so many people have experienced trauma and so many people have experienced sexual trauma. And I want to be able to talk about um, how sexual trauma can affect your pregnancy because while this is an amazing and beautiful time it has also been one of the hardest things that i've ever been through physically spiritually emotionally etc mentally um because it is so triggering because of everything that's happening to your body like you are constantly something is constantly happening to you whether it's in the first trimester when I was throwing up so much that I couldn't eat and water was making me nauseous to then going to um, where I had acid reflux and couldn't lay on my back to sleep to laying on my back to sleep. Whenever that happens, I can't breathe because there's a baby that's cutting off my blood circulation. And so like trying to get comfortable and realizing that there's like virtually no way that you can get comfortable at this stage of pregnancy. Um, there's always something that's happening. And like I said, I don't want to be negative. I don't want this to come across as like, um, you know, I hate pregnancy because like I said, it's beautiful. Every time I get to see baby girl's face on that ultrasound, it makes it all worth it. Um, but I do think that it's important to talk about um, the feelings and the things that go into it because if not, then this can, when you suppress those emotions that you're feeling, um, that makes it to where your risk for postpartum depression is higher because you're already getting used to suppressing these things that you're feeling that are normal and valid feelings. And then once your baby comes and you're gonna have even more feelings and feel even more stressed and even more sleep deprived and x y and z um it just it exuberates it all so i wanted to be able to talk about that and so if this video you know stuck out to you or if it's something that you experienced when you were pregnant leave a comment down below um always leave something positive down below <laughs> leave a comment down below of any prayer requests you have any words of wisdom you have with your body i've tried to frame um my mindset as you know my body's doing an incredible thing it's creating a human it's going to protect her and you know god has a plan god created my body to do this but like I said, I am only human. And so those things can and will get into your head and get you down and be like, wow, I remember when my body looked like X, Y, and Z, or, um, you know, like this experience is completely going to change me forever, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And so that's something that I kind of wanted to just talk about was just the fact that the physical changes while you know it comes from a place of vanity or whatever it can be rooted in your trauma it can be rooted in you know um your worth it can be rooted in so many different things and it's valid and okay to feel that way um i feel like it's if i don't talk about it then i just like 
keep it inside and then I'm just angry or just like feeling all of these feelings that I feel like nobody else understands. And I know that somebody else has gone through this. I'm not that unique to where um, nobody else on earth has experienced this. So if you have, make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what worked for you um, on you know your body and all of its changes and how you coped with it. But yes, yeah, so um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe and also turn our post notifications on because you never know when we're actually gonna post. I try and post every Friday at 5 p.m. but you never know. With all things pregnancy and baby, um, it is hard to keep up that schedule. So I try my best but it's always up to me with filming and Brent with editing. Also leave a comment down below on when you think baby girl is gonna make her appearance. Um, I'm so excited. Like I said, I am 37 weeks and two days. Her official due date is April 14th, but you know, everything happens in baby's plan and God's plan. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.